Dad, under them things. Go for it. <laughs> I need a glow up to help me. I'll help you. Episode 11, Ball Bounce. For the ball bounce experiment, you're just going to want to look around your house for any different types of ball that you have. I collected a basketball, a volleyball, a little tykes basketball, squishy foam, Padres ball, and a wiffle ball. Go ahead and make sure that any inflated balls are pumped up to the correct pressure. After this, I took a measuring tape to mark off foot marks on the wall. And this is really just for filming purposes to see the difference in height when the balls bounce. And then what I did is went ahead and dropped each ball. And what I noticed is that the ball would bounce up to about 50 to 60% of the original height. And some energy is being transferred here to the environment in the form of heat and also sound. If this wasn't happening, then you'd expect the ball to come up to the same height from which it was bounced from. The next thing to do is start stacking the balls on top of each other and bouncing them together to see what happens. And from here, you just want to make some observations. And what you'll start to see here is that when the less massive ball is stacked on top of the heavier ball, it will actually achieve a height higher than from which it started. So what's, what's happening here? So I didn't have a Newton's cradle on hand, but a great way to simulate these collisions that we're seeing is with some marbles and a ruler. And as you can see here, as one marble collides with the stack of marbles, uh, one marble comes off. If you increase it to two, two marbles come off, up to three, and so on. And the energy is being transferred through the marbles of the same mass. Things start to change here when I introduce a ball bearing with more mass than the marbles. The more massive ball has more energy and more momentum to be transferred into the system. And so we start to see a different reaction here uh, with the other spheres. Now back to the ball bounce experiment. We are going to start stacking more and more of these together and see what we observe. And this is really the fun part of it. You can try all different kinds of combinations, see if you can in fact get uh, three to four to maybe even five if you have help uh, balls stacked together and it will definitely take a lot of trial and error but that's all part of the fun. One observation that's really interesting is that the ball on the bottom or in the middle never achieves the same height that it would on its own and what this means is that some of the potential energy that it started with is being transferred into kinetic energy of the smaller balls that are stacked on top of it. I tried for a while to get four of these to fall together and make a nice collision. It was not easy, but I finally did get it pretty well, and the ball on top went about as high as the roof there. Looking back at our marbles, we can see that it works with the larger, more massive ball striking the smaller balls, but... Pause here. I hope you all have fun with this one. Be careful if you are using a ball that's hard, like a golf ball, uh, that, you know, these can go really high and you don't want it to come down on a window. Uh, also be very careful if you're doing it inside. Thanks for tuning in with me today. I hope you enjoyed the ball bounce episode. Let me know how it goes.